Hello friends, welcome to this video. Yes, I'm still alive, I've just been working. Cause I, I need to eat. But man, it is good to be back today. And uh, I'm excited about this one. Just a quick note, if you hear the sound of bones crunching in the background, don't worry, that's just Indy chewing on a bone. Because if I lock him out of this room, he'll start whining and screaming and uh, yeah, that's not fun to hear. The older he gets, the more opinionated he is, I swear. I, lo I love it though, he's so cute. Okay, so this video is gonna be the start of what will hopefully be a fun new series on this channel. Now, I know that a lot of the people who watch these videos really like Wings of Fire, and I'm also a Wings of Fire fan, hence why I've made so many Wings of Fire videos. But uh, I finished Wings of Fire and you know, it leaves me craving more stories about dragons. So I decided to start working on my own original story about dragons in a world where, you know, the characters are dragons and there are no humans, which is one of the things that was more endearing about Wings of Fires because it was just about the dragons. It's not about like humans and dragons, I, you know, barring some things. I think this happens to a lot of people. I think the, one of the main motivations to become a writer is, wow, this book series that I really liked ended, but I want to read more. I guess if no one else is going to do it, might as well do it myself. I mean, that's like why I started writing in the first place, like way back when I was 14. Anyway, TLDR, I want to do my own dragon thing. Not a tribe gen thing, but like my own world. Not based on Wings of Fire, but with sort of a Wings of Fire vibe, just maybe for a little bit of an older audience. Now, that part is another thing that I think is an important thing to explain. Um, I started reading Wings of Fire when I was 26, and this book series is certainly not marketed to that age bracket, but I still really enjoyed it. So I decided like, huh, I liked Wings of Fire but it was a little young for me. And, you know, for what it is, Wings of Fire is really great, but as an older reader, you tend to kind of want a little bit more complexity and different stakes and all that jazz. So it's almost like I've taken, like, Wings of Fire and what I liked about it and then added these things that I wish that it was to make my own hybrid thing that... At least I'll find interesting if no one else does. So basically, the premise is it's a world similar to Wings of Fire where the characters are the dragons. The dragons have human plus intelligence. There aren't any humans. They have their own society. But the target audience might be a bit older than middle school and it might include some more like complex themes, hopefully. Literally, guys, I've written like one page of this. But... I don't know, I thought it was something that would be enjoyable for you to hear about and fun for me to share, and one of my favorite things about sharing my dragons on this channel is the ideas that you all come up with. So it's almost like we can make this story together. Another caveat, another note that I need to put out there, I'm not planning on publishing this book. I'm not planning on selling it to anybody. I'm just calling it a book because in my head that's the length the story would be. So I am going to share like the plot as I'm coming up with it, the characters, details. I think I might eventually put it on Wattpad if I actually get around to writing it and not just spouting out ideas. But yeah, this is not meant to be published like traditionally. And I wanted to make that clear just because I know a lot of you guys who watch these videos are aspiring writers and storytellers and you should probably know that if you're planning on publishing a story you're not really supposed to share it anywhere online because it's supposed to be a kind of thing that someone has to pay to have access to type thing you probably already know that i don't know i just wanted to make it super clear that if you're planning on writing a story that is original and your own and you want to get it published don't do something like this don't do what i'm going to do I'm doing this just for fun. Okay. I don't know. I was just really paranoid about that for for some reason today. Okay. Sorry. Extra rambly today because I'm nervous because this is a little new, right? Anyway, um, the main basis of this story, the inspirations are like Wings of Fire for adults, Game of Thrones, 
um, Bridgerton because we love uh, like we love love and a love triangle and a love square and all that jazz. And I guess now sort of fourth wing, I suppose, even though fourth wing didn't exist at the time of conception of this story. Okay, so my overall idea is like dragons have countries similar to humans, like they have territories where they live, um, like kingdoms, and they have kings and royalty and all that jazz and court and politics, hence why I mentioned Game of Thrones. Like, I love that intrigue and I think that would be cool to have in a dragon society. Anyway, so I th one of the main characters is the princess whose tentative name for now is Kijani. That is actually, I found out, a boy Swahili name, which is not what I intended. Um, I just googled names that mean princess, okay? And it came up, and Google apparently was wrong the day that I googled this. So, name subject to change. I think it sounds super pretty. Anyway, her name is definitely subject to change if anyone has ideas. In any case, we have this princess. She's at court. See those, like, Bridgerton things coming in? I made this story while I was watching Bridgerton, so yeah. Um, essentially she's this young dragon who's trying to navigate court life, school life, and mage life, and contending with the fact that it's really hard to figure out who she herself is and who other people are because as the princess, people do not act, like, truthfully, you know, they... They're going to pretend to like you even if they don't like you, right? And that was a big inspiration for this character's personality. So she, in my mind, she's a beautiful princess. She's got black scales and, and copper markings. She's got copper. It doesn't look copper, okay? I know that. I, you know, I just went with it. But in, in reality, she has copper edging to her belly scales and she has copper claws and teeth and copper eyes. And the whole point of her character is to have this beautiful princess and then turn that archetype on its head a little bit. So like, wow, you're beautiful and a princess. Everyone must like you. But she can't trust anybody and she doesn't trust anybody except her best friend because they might just be pretending to like her to get closer to her parents or to have favor in court and such. And so the result is this dragon with such a shell around her true self. Like, she's always bristly. She's she's always on edge for someone to, like, try to take advantage of her or try to lie to her, essentially. One of my favorite words that I have used to describe her is prickly. So, <laughs> yeah. In addition to this, like, prickly exterior, um, I think it would be really cool to have her have extreme self-doubt on the inside. And part of this I've played into with the fact that she is, like, an ex either an extremely late-blooming mage or she has very little control over her power that she should have control over by now or something like that basically her dream is to become a warrior mage but she she's not good enough she's actually like bottom of the class type thing which also feeds into <laughs> some other things so yeah basically she's this character that should have everything she wants and feel confident in herself she has zero self-confidence she has this hard shell around her she doesn't let anybody in and it's just this culmination that actually feels kind of familiar i don't know if any of you are familiar with this um oh yeah i only got an a on that test because uh, i was lucky H have any of you felt like that um but for her it's like that I only passed this class because the professor let me skate by because I'm the princess. Or they're only trying to, like, help 
or, you know, like these other dragons are trying to help me because they pity me or because they think that if they help me, I'm going to give them a, a good like trade deal in the future when I'm queen. So yeah, and it's almost like the only genuine interactions she can have are negative ones because at least she knows that that's not motivated by trying to win the favor of the future queen, which kind of plays into some of the other characters that uh, I have envisioned. So yeah, and this kind of also interacts with the hopefully romance that I've planned to happen. Um, one of my favorite parts of Wings of Fire is just like the little romances that happen in those stories. Like they made me really giddy and I just liked them. I thought it was cute. And because I literally came up with this story while watching Bridgerton, I'm like, well, obviously there's got to be some romance in there. But yeah, I'm not too sure. But also it doesn't matter because it's not getting published. So it's just something for us to discuss, right? I think it could be fun, but it might distract from the rest of the story. Who knows? In any case, this like personality that she has interacts with the romance department as like, literally, if someone's being nice to her or thinks she's cute, is it because she's the princess or not? And so she has like zero romance like gauge. She has zero romance like in her her head because she doesn't expect it to be real she can't trust anything she also has no radar for if someone likes her or thinks she's cute in the first place so there's that which is fun and the other thing that also makes this interesting is that like as a princess she probably has to marry for politic politics political reasons anyway so you've got that thread going and i'm not sure if this is like a good place to start but in the current version of this the story starts when she's at court and this really interesting looking dragon from another country shows up at court and for the first time she's like wait a second what what is this feeling of being attracted to this dragon or she doesn't even know that that's what it is yet she's just like why what why am i staring at him type stuff which I think is really funny, but also could be distracting. Who knows? It's really hard to explain like what's supposed to happen without giving away all of the other characters and the story. So I'm lucky that I ran out of footage at this point. But yeah, that's just my my basic beginning of, of an idea of potentially what could be a story. Let me know what you think and let me know feedback that you have. Is this the type of story that you would like to listen to and hear about on this channel? Do you have any ideas for how to make it better or interesting plot points to make this whole thing more complicated because the entire idea is to have it like Wings of Fire but even better because it's for more adult brains? Yeah, and did I do a horrible job trying to explain what it is in the first place and I need to re-explain in some other type of video? Let me know. Yeah, I just, um, I thought this would be really fun to share with you guys. Uh, I just, initially when I started writing about it, I was just going to put it on Wattpad and be like, whatever. But I realized like, no, this would be really fun to share and collaborate on. And I, I know some people on the internet who like stories about dragons without humans. So yeah, I just figured I'd put it out there. In any case, thank you very much for watching this video and surviving the rambling. I hope you are having a great day or night, and I'll see you around.